In this video, I want to answer the question, what is artificial intelligence? This is how I define artificial intelligence in my ebook, Decode the Jargon of Artificial Intelligence. Systems or machines that are programmed to mimic aspects of human intelligence to perform tasks. Typically, AI systems can iteratively improve the way they operate based on new data. AI systems interpret data and use that interpretation to direct useful action. So let's break that down. First, mimicking human intelligence. Firstly, artificial intelligence is a product of programming machines, computers. But these computers tend to be extremely powerful and rely on large data sets. And some forms of AI rely on computers and software that has an architecture which is very different from the day to day computers that we use in our lives. But the essence of AI is that it allows computers to do things that up until recently, only human beings have been able to do. Second is learning. AI systems can iteratively improve the way they operate is a way of saying that AI computer systems can learn. And they do this in one of two basic ways. The first is known as machine learning. In machine learning, they combine classify and analyze data in largely familiar ways that other computers have already been doing for a number of years. The only difference is really about the scale of the data sets that they're operating with. The alternative is deep learning. Instead of using the familiar computer programs or algorithms, some computers and their software are configured to mimic the way that a human brain is structured with multiple interconnections between their neurons. This simulation of human nerve cells is known as a neural network. A neural network computers can assimilate and interpret and make patterns from large sets of data without human intervention. We don't tell them what to think, they form patterns based on the frequency of different data types and the associations between different data types. In a way, they are purely statistical integrators. The third element of our definition refers to what is sometimes called the human machine multiplier effect. We create AI systems to use data so that they can serve our needs. In this way, they can supplement what we are capable of doing. The human brain is perhaps the most powerful computing engine that we're aware of in the universe, but it doesn't mean that it is good at everything. And there are some things that artificial intelligence is better at than we are. By combining human intelligence with artificial intelligence, we can multiply or amplify the joint capabilities. And it's in that amplification of capabilities that we probably come up with the best definition of what AI really is. And that definition is one that relies on looking at what it does in the real world. What is AI capable of? Examples include things like automation, translation, product recommendations, data processing, image recognition, face recognition and other biometrics, voice recognition, image generation, and deep fakes, voice synthesis, data analysis and forecasting, and therefore fraud detection, expert systems, search results, share trading, and chatbots and other forms of automated response. And this is just an obvious sample of what AI can do now. 
every month that passes sees new innovations and new developments of the technology. So there's really no knowing what AI will be capable of doing in the short to medium term, let alone the long term. So what is AI? AI is a cluster of technologies that each go some way to being what we might describe as intelligent. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or if you've learned from it. I'll be making loads more great project management content for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.